Freeze! You're under arrest! Elizabeth! Elizabeth, get out of here! Go on! Elizabeth! Freeze! Elizabeth! What are we gonna do? I don't know. I don't, I don't know what I'm gonna do. Oh, guys like you always say you don't know what you're gonna do until you do it. I think you know exactly what you were gonna do. You were gonna kill your wife and child. Oh. Yeah! There you go. Anti-male propaganda from a film 30 years ago. So, Jane, once this guy, Michael Douglas, plays the uh, protagonist, he gets discarded by from the family unit by his wife. And, of course, the propaganda is that he, of course, deserved it. Right? And he's a danger to the family. So, don't be fooled. Don't think that what's been going on is post-millennial. This propaganda against men has been around for ages, right? They even say it in here, that he's the bad guy. I'm the bad guy? Yeah. Yeah, you're the bad guy. Uh, because you got to know your place. Your you know, purpose in life is to service a woman and when she discards you, you accept it. That's what your purpose is. If you don't accept it, there are consequences. Society's going to stomp down on you, right? Now, I suspect not only is this guy barred from his child by this woman, he, he's paying child support. And why, the reason I say that is because I can't find the clip of it. But I saw this movie when it came out. And at the beginning, he's sitting at the dinner table with his mother, eating breakfast. And she's afraid of him because it looks like he's going to erupt. Why is he living with his mother? Because in the movie, you see, he still has his job, right? So what it is, is that he's being forced to pay child support. He can't afford to live on his own. So where's the uber human here? This woman is, is doing all this to him, right? And they're painting her, by the expression on her face, as the poor damsel victim. She needs rescuing from this evil man that she married, right? Very typical. She has nothing to blame with what's going on here, which is, of course, nonsense. The, the movie tries to paint it as if uh, he became disillusioned with uh, the country and she just couldn't stand being with him anymore, right? But of course, they make the mistake of showing at the end what it's really about. He's been discarded from the family unit. That's what his real problem is. Now, if you check out other clips from the movie, Falling Down, it shows something that's very true about men. When they get discarded, they have misplaced anger and they take it out on other people. The customer's always right, consumer rights. He goes on a rampage and harasses people that have nothing to do with his own personal issues. And he goes on about being America and how it was good and blah, blah, blah. But this is all that really matters to him here, that he's been discarded, Right by the loving wife. Now this white knight cop is going to show him what it is. He's the Michael Douglas character is going to then beg for his uh, worthiness by saying he was a good servant. And this white knight cop is going to show him exactly what he thinks of his servitude. Yeah, I helped to protect America. You should be rewarded for that. Instead, they give it to the plastic surgeon. You know, they lied to me. You see, I shouldn't be kicked out of the family unit because I did everything right. So this is trouble with men. They don't come out and say, I'm a human being. This, this is an injustice towards me. They just say, look, I, I was good. I was a proper servant. Is that what this is about? You're angry because you got lied to? Is that why my chicken dinner's drying out in the oven? Yeah. Oh, uh, you've been injustice? You've been lied to? That's nothing. I mean, what does it matter? You're just a nobody man like me. By the way, this white knight, 
In this movie, he's treated like crap by his boss. So what he's saying here is that I'm a man, I'm treated like dirt, and I accept it. So therefore, you should. That's what he's saying here, right? And then he tells him his worth as a man. The only thing that makes you special is that little girl. Now let's go. See, you have no value. The little girl, by the way, who's just a human being like you, an ordinary human being, she has value, but you don't have value, right? What's her value? She's just a little girl, right? You as a man have zero value. You have to be validated by her. Exactly. So this is all so typical. And of course, we'll get it to the end result here of what's going to happen. This is what happens to you as a man if you don't accept your position as worthless and don't know your place and you act out. Let's go! Yeah, like I say, you either get caged or you get put down. Now, the movie chose put down. I it wanted this uh, inevitable climax. It wouldn't have looked a good uh, to society. Society wouldn't look as good if he simply surrendered, right? Because then he might have some victimhood status, right? They wanted him put down. And this is the propaganda message made by a movie 30 years ago. It's always been there. And this isn't just Hollywood. Hollywood is just made up of men and women. There's something wrong with the human psyche that has so much contempt for 50% of the human population that they treat men like this. By the way, like I said, this is all misplaced anger by this guy because if she had divorced him but allowed him to see his child, he probably wouldn't have had this nervous breakdown and went on a rampage, would he? Right. So this woman here, his ex, is to blame. She's the source of all this. There's absolutely no reason why he shouldn't have access to his child. Well, the reason they tried to make out by like this white knight, is that he's dangerous. Any man a woman rejects is always rejected because he's dangerous, right? That's the propaganda. It's not that she's a mean-hearted witch that used a man and tossed him and doesn't want him to have uh, access to his child just out of resentment, right? But guys, we know better now. We've been down the road long enough. We know what's actually going on. So just letting you know, <laughs> the propaganda against men has been around forever. <laughs>